Hello everyone. Welcome to Logical Solutions. In this video, you will learn how to convert thin solids to sheet metal and surface. When many thin solid parts are present in an assembly, you can save analysis time by converting them into sheet metal and surface bodies without compromising accuracy of results. So let's see how it can be done within no time. Here we have a chain assembly as solid bodies. Initially, we will see the results of this particular study with the parts considered as solid. The study has all the edges of the wheels that touch the floor are fixed. A uniform pressure is applied to the faces of the sink. We will run the study and view the plot of resultant displacement. So the maximum displacement shown here is 28.18 mm. This seat is a thin solid with uniform thickness. Such bodies can be converted into sheet metal parts to simplify analysis. We will convert the thin solid body representing the seat using the insert bend tools. Open the frame under sheet metal toolbar select insert bends. Under bend parameters select this face. The software converts the solid body into sheet metal body. A sheet metal body appears in the feature manager design tree also. We will duplicate the existing ready study and name it as sheet metal. Now right click the solid body named chair seat under frame 1 part and select treat as sheet metal. The program automatically calculates the thickness of the sheet metal. You can observe that the icon of the chair seat is changed from solid to sheet metal. Edit its definition and select thick shell formulation. Now we will define a bonded contact condition between touching faces of sheet metal and the solid cylinder. Now we will remesh the model. As you can see, now the chair seat is converted into shell elements. Now run the study and we will compare the displacement plots. So here the maximum displacement is 28.96 mm, which is approximately same or near to the previous study with solid mesh. So in a similar way, we can convert the same solid body into surface by using offset surface feature and giving its thickness value and required contacts, we get nearly the same results without compromising on the accuracy. So friends, this is all about converting solid bodies to other features to reduce the solution time without compromising on the accuracy. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel for more updates in Sorbo simulation. For further queries, please contact.